Hey Aquarius, welcome to your August 2021 Psychic Tarot reading with me, Stella Wilde. This is for Aquarius, a sun, moon, rising, and Venus, your general energies for August 2021. So welcome to the channel or welcome back as the case may be. It is all about giving you the intuitive information you need to manifest your wildest dreams. And to that end, I have two exciting announcements. My new Ultimate Dream Life Creation Kit is ready. I will leave a link to it in the description if you really want to dive in with some interesting writing prompts, with some interesting affirmations, with me doing some guided meditations to help you along your dream manifesting path. And also, if you would like to join in <laughs> with a manifestation coaching uh, session, which is included with the Dream Life Creation Kit, then check it out below. The link is in the description. And Miss Thing now has her own merchandise. So there is now a merch shelf below the channel. So please do check it out. You can also get um, tarot themed uh, merchandise there as well. So check it out below. So remember, these are general readings apply to energies to your life. We see what comes up in these readings. Money, career, and business readings for every single sign have already been done, dusted, uploaded. I will leave the link to your sign in the description of the video. All right, Aquarius, let's get into your reading. Let's see the energy that you uh, can use in August, energies that are influencing you. Let's see what is going on. What do we have for you, Aquarius? We have blossoming and the big full moon in this card. And it is your second full moon. We had one in July that was at one degree Aquarius. And now we're having another full moon in August that's at 29 Aquarius. So, wow, blossoming. Something's coming to fruition in your world. Something is being illuminated. Something is culminating in, I'm sure, success. All right, let's see see what we have for you. Thank you, Ariel. Lend your assistance, Ariel. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's clarify the blossoming. What do we need to know? Ah, we have some news. We have some news about finances perhaps coming in. Let's pull one more. Ah, and a two of cups. Okay, let's do one more. And a six of wands. All right. This is so good. So there could be some sort of news from uh, a creative partnership, a personal partnership of some kind with the two of cups here. There could be some sort of plan negotiations that are going to lead you to success. So somebody in your world could really be helping you in a financial way. Uh, with a project, with getting you launched in some way, Six of Wands here. This could also be, if we're talking about your love life blossoming, some news that you have been waiting on to forge a solid connection, Pentacle, right? So something that is steady and reliable could, could happen, could happen this month with some sort of important date, meeting, uh, et cetera. It doesn't have to be with an earth sign. The page of coins for me is just that it's something solid. Um, and, and also the page of coins can be something that you have been patiently kind of working on manifesting and taking those first steps toward. So you could be taking the first steps toward building a very solid connection with a new person. This may even have started back in May. That's possible. And now this month, it's coming to a beautiful fruition. So this could be having the talk with someone like, oh, we're committed now. This could be taking your relationship to the next level. Six of Wands here, success and whatever that means to you with an important connection in your life. So very, very, very nice energy here, Aquarius. So whatever this is for you, there is somebody else involved. You have solid support behind you to make a dream happen. All right, Aquarius, let's see what else is going on for you in the month of August. Wow, be beautiful energies. Look what just flipped over also. The Ace of Pentacles. All right, let's set that aside. So something that is going to start growing deep roots and blossoming. Blossoming, that is our theme. That is our theme for the month of August for you. 
Wow. So beautiful. There's some sort of beautiful new beginning that's growing. Wow. All right. Could be in a financial sense. You know, I like to have these general readings be more about love and relationships and personal things. But I mean, it could be it could be a financial situation. Oh, we have the chariot. Isn't that great? And the lovers. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think Ariel loves it too. Ariel, do you love it? So we have success. We have fast movement. We have something very pleasurable in store for you. The lovers is here. Now, this could be some sort of communication project, creative project, something to do with your children. This is Gemini fifth house energy for you. But this also can be romantic, of course. Could be with a Gemini. Very possible. So what I love about this energy, it's like we have growth. We have something that is is wanting to build, uh, you know, and, and grow deep roots, right? But I think those roots have been growing since May. May, June, July. I mean, that's three months. Thank you, Ariel. That's good. You have built a foundation. But what's interesting is that there is acceleration here. There is pleasurable acceleration. There is joy. There is success. We have beautiful victory cards showing up here. The six of wands, the chariot. So excellent, excellent energies here. All right. The lovers also can be reconnecting with some sort of pleasure in your life doesn't have to be a relationship necessarily just something that you know some aspect of yourself that you really enjoy expressing especially creatively intellectually uh this can just be really also some sort of full alignment where both sides of you feel balanced you know the yin and the yang they they are <laughs> in sync so to speak so very nice energies all right let's pull from the top of this deck Here's your energy, King of Swords, the Fool, New Beginnings, the Knight of Cups. It's a new emotional beginning, the Tower, Surprising Energies, and the Five of Cups. Okay, interesting. So what I think is going on here is that we are having a surprising ending to a situation that might have been, you know, rather sad in your life. This is the end of a season, I feel, because we have the blossoming. So again, it's something that's coming to fruition, you know, flowers, et cetera. They, they take a whole season in order to finally grow. So we're ending in a surprising way and in a fast accelerated way, a season of disappointments. And what we are shifting into is a brand new beginning of love, change, happy changes with the Knight of Cups here. Again, alignment, being able to express yourself in a very heart-centered and exciting way, having important conversations with people that matter to you, speaking from the heart, sharing your truth, etc. So there's there is energy here of, you know, something that, in the past, because I do feel it's past energy with all these th gorgeous things we have here that, um, you know, yes, there was some regrets, but you will be very surprised if you open up to this beautiful energy this month. You can be very surprised at how quickly the memories of this five of cups fade into the distance. That is the key. The key here is to open both of your eyes and see this new path for yourself and be hopeful interesting that we have music twice in these cards she's playing a little guitar a little lyre l-y-r-e and here we have we have a fiddle i don't know if you can see it but she's playing a little fiddle violin whatever so there is something here about dancing to your own song singing your own song being uh blossoming and listening to the songs of love like you know creative self-expression especially musically listening to music for that creative inspiration all of that type of thing here as well 
So this is just amazing, amazing energy. Do not worry about these energies over here. You know, we look at everything in context and with everything else we have, like I said, I think it's going to be a surprising end to a, a season in your life that, yeah, may have felt a little lonely because we have rapid acceleration and movement and new possibilities. Ace of Pentacles coming in. Now, if you have not met anybody yet, it is possible that you meet somebody this month. So, and it's somebody worthy, Ace of Pentacles, somebody who you actually could grow some sort of relationship with. Again, could be a friendship, business partner, uh, that type of thing does not have to be romantic. But these are very, very positive energies for just really feeling, I mean, I'm just so happy with this energy for you. I'm at a kind of a loss for words. Just feeling this sense of happiness and excitement that's really aligned with who you are. That's the other thing, because you're showing up here. It's the happy you. It's the happy you that's really coming out this month. All right, Aquarius, let's dig a little deeper into your energies for the month ahead. And let's see what we have. Ariel's getting a little nervous because there's some thunder going on outside right now. You may have heard it earlier in the video. So she didn't leave, you know, for any other reason. <laughs> Just so you know. She's going to probably go on the sofa now where she feels very safe and secure. <laughs> so, yeah. It's weird. It's... it's uh, a little dark out there, but it's not raining. It's just making some rumbling noises. All right. The happy you. What do we need to know? Here you are again. Interesting. We had a king of swords before. And now, where did he go? Here he is. And now we're having a queen show up. So as I said earlier, for some of you, there is some new connection coming in your life. The fact that it's air and air suggests to me that it's going to be energy that's very simpatico, very aligned with yours. Whoever this part, new person is coming into your life, this new connection. Beautiful. All right, let's see what's on the bottom. We have Ace of Cups. So we have Two of Cups. Let's not forget that. We had the Ace of Pentacles, and now we're having an Ace of Cups. So beautiful. Where'd my Ace of Pentacles go? Look at this. And let's not forget, we have the lovers. Some of you also, you could be meeting somebody on an, while you're mobile. So while you're moving about. So this could be going out to lunch or, you know, you're not in your home, in other words. Now, it doesn't mean you're on some big trip. I mean, you could be, but we know that's not happening for a lot of people right now. Um, but this is like simply like you could have gone out for the day to the coffee shop or something like that. If you can do that these days, wherever you are living. <laughs> so... Oh, all right. So look, we have this beautiful, beautiful energy flowing in here. And also again with messages. So we have this dove flying out of the hand, the cup. So an important message, I think, again, you're putting out into the world. Some of you, if you are really engaged in creative work, if you are a writer, a songwriter, a musician, uh, Whatever you do for your art, this month, whatever you love to do, it is so important for you to get your messages out there, your work out into the world. And notice too that she has a little butterfly on top of her sword here. So, and her sword is raised, her hand is raised. So it's like, you need to put your work out into the world. Let it fly, let it go, let it, let it enrich other people's lives. That's another thing that I'm really feeling here with this energy. So, wow, major. Oh, look, here's the lovers. <laughs> the lovers are showing up on the bottom of this deck, but I pull from the top here. But isn't that interesting? All right. So much love in your world. This is the thing I'm really feeling in my heart. There's going to be so much love in your world from the people around you, from maybe a new person coming in, some new connection from yourself to yourself, lots of self-love this month, blossoming, joy, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous, Aquarius, absolutely gorgeous, and the 10 of cups, and the 10 of freaking cups, I'm not pulling any more cards, these cards we, I keep pulling are saying the same thing, 
which is joy, happiness, contentment. And with this particular card, so we go from the ace to the 10. We have two beautiful energies of beginnings and blossomings. So new things, but also blossomings of things that you've already been pouring your heart and soul into. Now, what's interesting about the Ten of Cups, I want to bring you back over here, about the Ten of Cups in this deck is that there are more people gathered around the fire. So there are going to be, I think, some new people coming into your world in whatever way they're meant to be in your particular world. But these are pure heart-centered connections. Yes, there could be more time spent with family. Sure, that is possible. Joyful, joyous times. Some of you may be on some sort of beautiful family excursion right now with this chariot, lovers, particularly with your family. So your significant other and if you have the kids or the furry babies, whatever, whatever you got going on for your family. Some of you are on some sort of little, very cozy, lovely, reconnecting energy type trip. Um, or that's possible in this month ahead. But whatever this is, I mean, we have beautiful, like I said, beginnings. We have culminations. We have joy, new people, happy times. And it's all about you and your energy. And the fact that something has changed about your energy. That's the other thing, because... Like I said, there is something here about you letting go of this season of sadness and really stepping into this alignment. Because the lovers is about that too. It's about full alignment with who you are. New opportunities that are valuable, of value, that will grow. Growth, opportunity, happiness, and joy. This is beautiful energy. And with these two aces here, and we have two victory cards, I just want to say that for some of you, you're going to have some sort of victory, a yes from the universe that is very emotional, and you could have one that is much more practical oriented, like more financial, more, you know, to do with your overall security, well-being, you know, the pentacle energy. So beautiful, absolutely gorgeous energies here Aquarius leave me a comment let me know what's going on for you with this energy I think Ariel brought y'all like a pretty kick-ass reading so you know she's the one who does these not me so <laughs> I love you guys Aquarius have a great month take care I will see you again soon Stella Wild signing out